Hey everyone, this is Mike and a couple of videos ago I mentioned that we were working on our new FC house. Me and a couple of friends have been working on it over the last two weeks or something I think at this point. Although I was mainly just there to gather some items here or there, craft some stuff and two of my friends have done pretty much all of the work. It's also the two Lala files that you can see in the thumbnail. They're basically behind the whole project. And I was just there to give my approval that I liked what they were doing. But seeing how some people were interested in seeing a house tour, that is basically what today's video is going to be all about. So let's get started with our garden. Of course, we're using the new house that came out in patch 5.5. I really love the look of this house. Pretty amazing how it's very unique here on the right side as well. And then there are also ways on how we can glitch up onto the roof, which is how I got to this place over here. So let's get started with the balcony. We just put a little table up here. Uh, we might actually get rid of this table in the future because it's kind of like on its lonesome and some of my FC members were asking for a striking dummy again because we ran out of spaces and well, a striking dummy would be quite nice to have as well. Uh, so we might change that table because you don't really see it when you're down here anyways. And whenever we AFK on top of the house, we basically just go sit on the rooftops anyways. Uh, so we might get rid of that one over there. Outside of that, we've got a little garden over here going on where we can do all of the plant stuff. These little lanterns also lit up during the night, so it's really nice that we still have a lot of illumination during the night as well. Outside of that, a little bit of death space behind here, but you're not really going to be seeing that all too much. Unless you come and tend to our plants over here. On the other side, we just have a little chill area. we got a bench that you can sit on. Of course, this lantern post also lights up during the night. And then we have a little chill corner over here with a tent. I uh, really wanted this tent in here because I do quite like the look of it. And then we have a little campfire where we can sit behind as well. And then, of course, the tree house that you can use to enter from the outside as well. Kind of completes the look of the corner, so to speak. And then, of course, eight right. And our little Moogle post box over here as well. Looks quite nice. I'm a really big fan of the house, as I said before, because this feels like we just put it in here ourselves. Even though this is completely part of the house, we didn't put anything here. It's a very unique look, I already talked about it at length in the house video itself where I show off the house a little bit more. Now if you're curious on how to get onto the roof, there are two places where you can do it. The first one that we found out about is this corner over here where you can get up to the lower roof, but the problem is you can't jump onto the higher rooftop, but it does mean that you can get over to this one over here if you want to AFK, but if you jump onto this little thing over here, and if I can jump there we go. You can get up onto the higher part of the roof and then you can actually go all the way around the house. There's like a mini balcony over here as well for some reason which does look kind of nice. Although you're not really going to be seeing that all too much. And then you can walk over here as well to get up onto the highest part of the house. And you can get a really nice overview for your housing ward as well like this. Can't get up here unfortunately enough but this is already quite high up. And then of course you can go down over here to get onto the second balcony of the house itself. So really cool house, really nice how you can glitch up onto the roof. Hopefully they don't patch that because it is quite nice to just go and sit up there AFK a little bit. Quite funny to see that as well. But that's the outside of the house. Let's go take a look at the inside. So I'm gonna have to be walking around zoomed in quite a bit because we had to do a lot of glitching with the walls and otherwise my camera is gonna go through walls here or there. Uh, which is not going to be looking all that nice of course, but we went with a little bit of a like a bar vibe I guess you could say. There's a couple of different areas in the house as well. Um, but it kind of fits with the theme on the outside as well because we have the forge housing walls and then you can come inside, you kind of have a bar uh, to relax after forging all of your weapons and whatnot. So over here we have the bar, these things also completely works. If you click on them, they do pour out some beer. Of course, we don't necessarily have any beer mugs behind here, uh, but plenty of other booze to be had. And then of course we have our little materia melder over here as well. Who can serve us all of the beer? Outside of that, we have a little chill corner over here with some cushions. Uh, we have our visiting book. I don't actually know the actual name of this thing. But if you come visit the house, you can of course put a message down over there. Tell us how you liked it and what not. Then we have our sitting area over here. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit for that. Uh, where you can just like take some place, go over there. We have our little stage area on the left, uh, which the rightmost person, the one in purple, that's the one who designed the whole place. And the one on the left, he was just basically our mental support who would just AFK around the house uh, pretty much the entire time. But nevertheless, uh, that's those people over there. Our little stage for performance. And then over here we have the additional chambers entry, of course. And then we have a couple of other interactables over here. So if I go 
and put up my HUD again. Uh, we have our Kestion over here, we have a little toy box where you can play the mini games, and then of course the retainer bell over here as well, and then the FC chest over there as well, which you can always make use of. A uh, little waiting area for if you like waiting to go to your chambers or something like that. So, okay, let's hide the HUD again and continue upwards. So on the left over here, we have our FC buffs, thingies, charging. Uh, we're of course working on some grade three FC buffs for the next expansion already. Uh, we gotta make sure that we are done with those in time. And then we have our book area over here, little library. Uh, we also have the unending journey if you wanna rewatch old cutscenes and whatnot, if you've missed any of those. Go watch them over here, our little view outside to the Azim step, does look quite nice as well. And then some cushions that you can sit on again, a little bench and some other stuff if you want to go and read some books in front of the fireplace uh, with some other cozy plants and such around there as well. Over here a little showcase of the ultimate weapons. This wasn't necessarily my idea because it feels like a little bit of bragging um, but they really wanted to have this in here. It does look quite nice as well with a little uh, like water texture behind it as well. This was broken the first time I saw it so we didn't actually see the water texture um, but it does look really nice now that it is working uh, took a little bit of work to get it in there as well because you do need to use mannequins uh, to like glitch into the wall and then you can put the weapons on their backs. Uh, over here another sitting area and then we go upstairs to our little Japanese corner over here where you can again sit down over there on the benches. You can look down and get a little bit of an overview of our tavern down there and then of course the book area as well, our little library. And then if we go over here on the left, this is where we have our tiny Japanese corner. Uh, this is one of the things that drops from Tsukiyomi, uh, which is a really cool place. We just used it to create a backdrop for the outside, uh, which looks really nice. Then we have our Namazu over here, who is in charge of our ramen shop, so to speak, where you can also go and drink some sake, have some rice, etc. Uh, so that is our Namazu over there. And then over here we have our potion seller who has plenty of potions for us to sell. And then, of course, you can also mend your gear over here. I do believe this is our mender. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so we basically have all of the NPCs that you would need inside of a free company house. Mender, Matilia Melder, uh, Junkmonger, all of that stuff. And they're kind of placed all around the place. Uh, where it kind of makes some sense as well. So that's the FC house. I'm very happy with it. It took a little while to make, but definitely worth all of the effort. Because um, I'm very impressed with all of the work that they have made. Of course, again... Uh, I was mainly just the one running around getting materials whilst they were doing all of the decorating. I don't have my third friend over here, uh, the one that did all of the glitching, because we had uh, Cass over here who did all of the designing, and then we had Nana who was doing pretty much all of the glitching stuff that you can see, uh, like creating this thing up here, uh, and doing then of course the mannequins into the wall, and all of the other stuff that leads to the look that you are seeing over here today. So I'm very impressed, I'm really happy with the FC house. They've done a lot of housing stuff in the past, they might actually do my private house as well, so maybe if we ever get around to doing that, uh, I'll do a follow-up video from when my personal house is done, because we really wanted to make some kind of like an underground Japanese market, but in the end we didn't have enough space for it, because you're very limited. Uh, to the items that you can put in your FC house, of course, you're limited to, I believe it is like 400 slots or something. Uh, so that might be a project for the future, but if that ever was to happen, uh, then I'll of course make a follow-up video on that. But that's the FC house, really happy with it, very impressed with the work that they have done. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it as well. If you want to come and take a look, then you can find us over here, Plot 7, 17th Ward in Shirogane. And then you can have a look for yourself at your own pace. Um, because it is a really nice looking house in my opinion. I'm very happy with it. Definitely could not have done this by myself because uh, I'm definitely not a housing expert. If you've seen my own personal house or the old FC house on stream, uh, then you'll know that I'm very bad at it. So I'm really glad that they wanted to put in the effort to basically make it for me and my free company. But anyways, that's gonna do it for me. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching. I want to thank my Patreons for their support and I'll see you in the next one.